Hey there, my name is Linda. Welcome to my channel and today we are working on a DIY fabric stuffed hearts and fabric envelope. This is a design team project using product from enablecase.com. So let's get started. What you're going to need here is you want three uh, fabric colors of your choice and then a heart shape. You can download one from the internet or draw one as I have done. And you're just going to take um, your fabric and you're going to cut two pieces of fabric per heart shape like this. Except for me on my cream color, it was really thin so I actually cut four. And then what you're going to do is two of your hearts are going to be larger and one heart will be a little bit smaller in size. And then you're going to need two pieces of fabric for your envelope and we'll come back to this envelope in a minute. And you're also going to need a piece of batting and you can usually find this in like the muslin fabric section of Walmart. And you're going to cut two of the fabric for the envelope and one piece of batting and you're going to end up um, sandwiching that batting in between the fabric and then when it's all sewn we're basically just going to fold it up like that to make our envelope. So the envelope is in two pieces. I made up the pattern. The bottom looks like a banner shape and from side across across is about 10 inches and that shape is about from where I just measured is about nine and three quarters inches but when you add the top flap it's about 10 inches total. And what I did is my top flap I cut a triangle shape I'm going to show you that here in a minute. And I end up taping the two pieces together, but the triangle shape, I added an extra about quarter inch down, just like that. And then tape the two together. And then the envelope from the, the bottom center of that banner shape to the tip top of the triangle shape is about 13 and a quarter inches. Now, if you don't want to mess with that, you can make your own just like square envelope pattern here. This is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. You just fold the side flaps in, the bottom flap up. You're going to overlap it just a bit. You can see here I overlapped it just a little bit. And then your top flap down. Now you're going to end up with kind of a square or envelope, but it's easier to do if you want that route. And it's, um, see, I'm going to be working with a little bit more of a rectangle shape. Or you can take like a legal envelope. It's probably going to be a little bit smaller, but you can kind of disassemble it and use that as your pattern. I mean, it's easy that route too. Okay, so I'm going to pin all these pieces together like to talk about earlier, and then I'm just going to sew it all the way around. Now, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can totally hot glue this project. It's not a big deal. I just like the sewing with the texture. Okay, but hot glue will work perfectly fine on the envelope here and the hearts we'll be working on. Then you're going to take the sides here, once you've sewn all the way around the envelope, you're going to pin the sides and then you're just going to sew down each side here and here of the envelope. Or in your case, if you want to hot glue, you're going to hot glue down the sides. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scissors and I wanted to kind of distress the edges of the fabric. So I'm scraping it along the fabric, I'm pulling it up so I get all these little distress pieces. Alright, so now we're going to work on the hearts. You're going to sew the hearts all the way around or hot glue, but you're going to leave a small opening just like that. Okay, and then you're going to stuff it to however thick you want to stuff your hearts. And then you're going to sew or hot glue that opening closed. You're going to do it on two of the hearts, but your smaller heart, we're going to do a little fun um, uh, sewing on it first by hand if you want. You don't have to at all. I just thought I'd add a little bit of a fun technique to it. Okay, so I'm going to take, because I did four, I'm going to take two pieces of my fabric. You'll take one. This is crochet thread I got from Walmart. It's about a size five. Any kind of string would work. Um, and we're going to make like a little stitch up the middle almost if like you were sewing two halves of a heart together. And you're going to start from the back to the front at the bottom, back to the front, and you're going to pull it across front to the back to make your first stitch. And then you're going to go up diagonal and down to the bottom, okay, coming back through up to the top, making an X. So now we're just going to go up to the top down to the bottom part of the X, back up to or over to the 
other X back up to the top. However you want to make this work, you're just making an X pattern. That's a little bit hard for me to explain on camera. I'm sorry about that. But you're basically just making, you're going back and forth, kind of zigzagging and making an X pattern. The only part was at the bottom kind of where you had to get started. You kind of had to sew like a straight line first to kind of get your X going. But you're back and forth however tall you want it to make a little X pattern, like I said, all the way up. I think I went about three quarters up. And you don't even have to do this at all. I just thought it would be a fun little addition to give this heart a little, you know, personality. That's it. And then you're going to take the back and kind of, you know, sew it off. So those of you who don't really know how to sew and you don't want to mess with it, leave it out. Make it easy. Don't stress about it. And then what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bow. So I'm just going to take some of that string and add a little bow. Now you could do that if you didn't want to make the X pattern, but you wanted to add a, you know, a cute bow on this. Do that then. Just add a little bow in the center. Call it done. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to continue with this heart just like I did the other ones. I'm going to add it to my other two pieces. Sew three quarters of the way around, stuff it, and then sew up the rest. So we're going to go on the envelope and start decorating. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac Glue by Beacon. And I've got a couple of paint brushes here. And I'm using paint brushes because I'm going with a theme. And I'm kind of doing a love theme since we're like right near at Valentine's. And I'm adding paint brushes to kind of to do the story of, you know, painting my world with love. Okay, I'm just going to show you my story here. And those of you that know, when I layer my projects, I have to use cardboard to help level up my layers. So you'll see me using cardboard. Those paint brushes are a little bit thick, right? So I have to add cardboard to level up to add my paper. Now this is just all papers from my stash. I've sewn around them and distressed the edges using my scissors. And this key here that we're using is a Rene Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard Rose Heart Locket Key in Medium. And that cute swirl is Rene Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard, a set of four quilling flourish in large. And I'm going to start adding these things to add some texture as well and they are beautiful to my project and I'm having to add a piece of cardboard here to level up because these beautiful board laser cut chipboards are about the thickness of a nickel and I have to level up my papers as they set on these uh, beautiful board pieces. See still leveling up. All right, so this is Renee Bouquet Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chip Board. This is a uh, circuit element, and the large piece I showed you is how it comes with two of those, and I like to kind of cut them into pieces and just use them as background textural pieces. This is just a um, little clock piece from my stash. And when I say that, it just means it's my own product I'm using and not product from Renee Bouquet's. And then I'm adding another little circuit element piece here. I'm going to add a little wood ticket. This is from my stash. All these types of like embellishments and stopwatch pieces and things like that, you know, I've just kind of gained over the years. I'm adding some fabric. This is like a... I think it's like a crocheted tablecloth. I got it at a garage sale years ago and I just tear it up and use little pieces for texture. So I'm just kind of glued it behind that little wood ticket. This wing is just a uh, wing that I made using paper clay and a silicone mold. Made it off camera, of course. And then I'm going to make a little tag. Now you're wondering why I have a clothing tag there. I'm going to use that to back up my tag for stability. So this is just like a metal um, book frame that, again, from my stash, and I added a piece of paper in there um, that's going to be my tag that's going to kind of house my main little quote. And this is my quote. They're stickers, and what I did is I glued them to really thin, like, uh, cereal board cardboard and I did that just to give them a little bit more durability so I'm gonna cut them out of the cardboard and then I'm gonna glue it to that tag
and I'm going to take my scissors and kind of scrape along the edges to kind of roughen it up and give these little stickers some texture and then I'll glue it to the center of that tag just like that in little strips So in the end, my quote says, thoughts that whisper to my heart, will you promise never to leave me? I know that I am home. Okay, so I'm going to use that tag, that clothing tag to kind of make everything all nice and sturdy, basically. So save those clothing tags because they're really thick and you can use them for backing, you know, repurpose them. And I'm going to glue that into place. And I'm going to add some more little embellishments here and this is a prima marketing little resin frame again from my stash I'm just layering up I know it's looking funny right now I've had a lot of people comment like I oh, don't know but keep watching because when we're all done it looks really cool but when you're layering up and adding your pieces like this it looks like where the heck is she going with this but you're gonna see it in the end I promise it all comes together but it always kind of looks really ugly when you're first starting out and it looks like it doesn't make any sense whatsoever this is just a little wood window for my stash kind of a shutter a window shutter I'm going to add another piece of that torn fabric there, just a little more texture to kind of match the other piece of torn fabric on the other side. These are Renee Bouquet Mulberry Flowers. Now they are, the red is like a Christmas velvet red. The uh, black are mini roses and leaves. And then the antique linen, beautiful new shade out. Um, it's from Roses, Gardenias and Leaves. And the Christmas Velvet Red actually comes from the Poinsettias, Roses, and Holly Leaves set. And I'm going to use some Americana quilting thread. I lay it down. I like to do that underneath kind of my flowers. So it kind of adds a little texture around the flowers. And then also because I'm so layered up, you saw me when I glued down that red first red rose I had to add a little cardboard underneath it again so cardboard becomes very important when you're kind of doing this 3d type of layering and I don't know how I got started layering like this a lot of people um, friends and things and you know friends here on YouTube call me like you know the queen of layering and I don't know it just kind of happened and I just kind of do it it just happens naturally um, you know, and you just have to get a feel for it. Start small, kind of work your way up. You'll get the hang of it and it works out really cool. Don't be afraid to layer. You've got this. Oh, those, those colors together, that antique linen and that Christmas velvet red and the black. Love it. It's perfect. Kind of laying my flowers where I want them to go and then I'll glue back in in a minute here as you see I'm doing now just kind of checking my positions making sure it's the right order of where I want things see once you kind of get the flowers on top of the layering it all starts to come together a little bit right so flowers are very key so these are Renee Bouquet beautiful board beautiful bits they're skeleton leaves and these are beautiful board beautiful bits gears and beautiful bits means they're they're tiny so I'm gonna layer in some of these gears and these skeleton leaves uh, around and amongst my flowers I like to use the gears like when I'm doing like things you know with that kind of symbolize love because you know love is kind of a, a um, working in you know gears everything's set in motion everything's working together you know and so that's kind of why I like to use gears and and kind of when I'm doing projects like this just because you know it just kind of symbolizes how love has to work together right it has to 
gears have to work together to make the mechanism work. So that's why I come up with that in my head. I know. <laughs> There's a method to my madness of thinking and how I come about when I create my projects. And how I pick out my pieces. So this is just a bow from my stash. It's actually um, like a Christmas ribbon I bought and I cut it apart. And this is just a little ephemera piece. And um, I think I've, yep, I just backed it with some cardboard and I'm gonna kind of glue it right on top of that bow. Kind of sets that whole center together. And this is just a little metal piece from my stash. It reminds me of like a door knocker, you know, like you're knocking on the door of love. So that's why I put that piece in there. I told you there's a method of my madness. And this is just a little resin bird also from my stash because, you know, birds and love kind of go together. Usually the symbol of love like doves or something like that. So that's how that is all put together. I'm just going to shorten up my bow a little bit here. And then we'll, get, we'll start to go to town here in a minute and get our hearts ready to fit in our envelope. So see these, so here comes one of my hearts, all my hearts. This is a dream key. It's from Renee Bouquets. It's a set of four metal dream keys in silver. And I'm just using an upholstery pin to pin it on. And you can find these cute little uh, upholstery pins at Walmart in the sewing section. And this is just a little piece of paper I cut out. It says personal telegram. And I liked how it went with this uh, project. Basically, this is a personal telegram. It's a priority this day. I've got to get my message out. So that's how all that comes together. Note to myself. So this heart here is a beautiful board, uh, laser cut chipboard. It comes in a set of four lacy heart frames. So I just kind of showed you the large and the small size in the set. You get four different sizes in the set. And I kind of glued it around that piece of paper to, um, you know, make you really see note to self to kind of point to it a little bit better. So I'm going to glue one of the hearts on each side. And then later on, you see me take it out because I didn't glue my one piece in first. You'll see that in a minute. And this is my center heart. This is just like a plastic word from my stash. So I'm kind of putting that on, gluing it on there. So I have to get my little tag in the back here, this tag that I put the lacy heart leaf or heart around. And so I had to take a heart out to get it in, glue my other heart back. And now I'm gonna glue the third heart right on top of the other two hearts. So it looks just like a little cluster of hearts here with a little note to myself. Here comes some little ephemera and I've glued them to again, some really thin cardboard. So look, again, note to myself, delivered this day, it's a personal telegram, and it brings us right back down to the little quote on that tag at the bottom. So this is just a little uh, mini wood ruler I put in my uh, envelope here. It's from my stash. It just kind of signifies like years of love. So that's why I did that. And now we're gonna use 3D matte gel. We're gonna add a little more texture. This is some Rene Bouquet's uh, micro beads in red which is temporarily out of stock right now, but I do use black as well. And then we are also using Rene Bouquet's uh, Shard German Glitter Glass and Diamond, along with these cute little Rene Bouquet Beautiful Board, Beautiful Bits, uh, laser cut chipboard, tiny, tiny hearts. I'm gonna add a little muslin on this left side so that kind of fills the gap. And the last thing I'm gonna add is Beautiful Board Laser Cut Chipboard, uh, decorative clock hands in medium from Renee Bouquets. And I add a little clock hand there, as you can see, just because, you know, love and time kind of go together, love for all time. So I'm dipping my paintbrush in that uh, matte gel and I'm dipping it in all of my like uh, little mini art stones here. I'll pour like the, I'll dip it in my paintbrush into the, um, matte gel and I'll pour like the glitter glass on top. I'll do the same thing and I will pour like the micro beads on top. So I'm just adding this all around the project. And then again, I'll do the same thing, dipping my brush into the matte medium and then 
putting it where I want to glue the sequins to as well. So basically this matte gel is like a glue and you're just putting all your things into this glue so it'll stick. I kind of like to add like a little dot there and then a sequin. I like to kind of do the sequins one by one because they're a little bit different to mess with. You can't just really glue them on and hold like those little mini stones and stuff one by one. So this is the project when it's all done. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquet's that I used on this project um, as well as all the links to Renee Bouquet Facebook and blog and uh, Pinterest. Uh, all that's down there and I will have all the links down below to my social media so come follow me there and follow me on my blog. You'll see close-up photos on both blogs so if you want to see this in a little more detail leave a comment down below and tell me what you liked best about this project if you like the envelope better the cute stuffed hearts you know if you like the mixed media of it all um, if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up because it helps support my channel and if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button i post all sorts of diy and craft related videos And if you missed my last Renee Bouquet's design team video, I'll go ahead and post that link for you here so you can check it out. And I will also have another link down below for you. This is a uh, stuffed envelope with hearts, kind of like the same concept of this, but turned out a little bit differently and I think very cute. And if you're interested in checking that out, it'll be there for you to watch. I thank you for sharing your time with me and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.